Okay, let's make a sound wallet. Basically, a sound wallet is similar to a paper wallet, but instead of making it out of paper, we're going to make it out of sound. For that, of course, we need a public and a private address. Right now, we're going to concentrate on the private address. There it is. You're going to want to take that private address and you're going to want to make a picture of it. For example, in Paintbrush. Here we go. You could even include a secret message with it. All right, so I've got it in Paintbrush, and I need to save that as a file. Okay, um, then I'm going to need a program called Virtual ANS. This is a special synthesizer that transforms pictures into sound. Uh, it's free. Uh, it's open source, and um, it's based on this really cool synthesizer that was made um, by this Russian engineer from 1938 to 1958. Uh, you can read a lot more about it, and you can even donate uh, to the project um, at warmpalace.ru slash soft slash anus. I will include a link in the description. Okay, so we've downloaded our synth. We've got our address as a picture. Now let's open up the synth program. Okay, let's see if I have it open. Yes, I do. Here we go. All right, so it looks something like this, and we're going to want to click that disk, and we're going to want to load. Um, let's see here. Um, top secret PNG. Yeah, let's load that. That sounds good, right? All right, there it is. And now we want to press um, these sliders. Whoops, close. Here we go, project. And where it says lowest frequency, we want to raise that to the highest level. This is a super secret setting that improves the quality of the sound wallet. So max that out, basically. Whoops. There we go. That's fine. Press OK. You could also play around with the other settings. You know, experiment a little. OK. Um, let's make that smaller. There we go. And OK, we've done that. Now we want to press the uh, disk again. And we want to export as a WAV file. And let's name it super super secret for example yeah overwrite that all right and then once you've got your wave file you can keep it as a well you can burn it to a cd you can make a cassette tape out of it you can put it on a reel to reel you can make a vinyl record out of it it's up to you how you want to store it if you put it on analog medium in order to read back your private key you're going to need something called a spectroscope basically that is a device or a program that as our synth uh, changes sound uh, into some kind of picture, usually these sound waves. But instead of sound waves, you're going to actually see the letters and the numbers of your private key in the spectrograph. Sounds complicated. It's not. There are desktop programs that are really easy to use. There's also Android apps that you can just use on your mobile. So let's say you uh, put your private a private key on a cassette tape and then uh, you want to play it you want to import it so you put it in the Walkman you play it back in your headphones you put the Android with the um, spectroscope app up to the headphones hit play and then you're reading the sound and then you zoom in and you got your private key okay but now we're going to do it on the desktop today let's see if we're ready to go yes so now we have exported as a WAV file alright now let's um, import that actually want to go to load and let's see super super secret dot wave so let's say we saved our wave file later we want to read it you can also just use the same program virtual INS ANS okay then we want to go over here to load and let's see uh, really top secret dot wave hit OK you can see up here that's definitely a sound file press OK and it's going to convert it into a picture again. So it was a WAV file, which is a sound file, and now it's going to put, make it into a picture for us. OK. So you can easily um, drag it over here, zoom right on in, and there you go. Type in your private key, and then you've got your coins. So yeah, it's a good way to hide your coins every level of security and obscurity is important some people say obscurity is bad but it's not it also helps 
All right, um, then you can also head over to Sound Wallet where I've got some videos and some other tips on how you can make your own Sound Wallet. All right, Sound Wallet, do it. <laughs>